Hey, welcome back, Tyler, Theater Design Company. Been a little while since we did some instructional videos, but we're gonna do one on the uh, Eero PoE uh, Gateway and the PoE Sixes. We also have example number two, which is gonna have some Pro Sixes, and also a uh, example number three, which is gonna be a Pro Six system altogether. Uh, and be, this is kind of a wired system. The example number two, uh, upcoming video, is gonna be a wired slash wireless video. And then example number three is gonna be a full wireless Eero system. So in this scenario, what we've got here is just a couple different areas. We've got wired devices. These would be devices out in your office, printer, TV in the living room, so on. We've got our access points. Those are going to sit at the wall locations or ceiling. We have our internet service provider. In this case, it's Comcast. We have Eero PoE Gateway. And then we have a gigabit switch. So again, more advanced setup, obviously a little more costly. Um, our package pricing is pretty good, 20 to 25% off of uh, Eero's retail. We can ship these out of the country, out of the state. We've done quite a few things, um, Spain, uh, Mexico with these. We've also done, obviously, I think we've done probably all 50 states with uh, Aero systems now between customers and vacation homes. Um, so let's get to the gist of this. What you got here is internet service provider. So again, we're using this as a Comcast scenario. So they're gonna be doing RG6 into the RS cable modem. Quick little snippet on why we recommend buying your own modem. Uh, main reason is obviously cost savings. Second reason is if you use Xfinity, they will give you the X5 modem. Uh, you're gonna to have to put that in a, what's called a bridge mode to make this work correctly. And then if you call Xfinity, you have any troubles, they have your neighbor has a problem, they often send signals and just reset these modems and pull them out of bridge mode. Um, you can run these without being in bridge mode. However, if you're a heavy gamer, maybe you have security cameras, they don't like to have this as being your router and the Comcast X5 being a router. It's called a double NAT. It's not advised. So the way this flow works, ISP coming in, RG6. This is your modem. So this is what's bringing your internet service in. And then this brings the wide area connection out into port number 10. Port number 10 is a gigabit connection. At this point, you should be pausing, getting your Eero app set up, connecting uh, Bluetooth to your Eero PoE gateway and getting this set up, do firmware updates before you do anything else with your PoE 6s. Uh, on this scenario, even though we could have taken these wired devices and gone directly into our PoE gateway, we've opted to add a gigabit switch. This could be a 10 gigabit switch if you wanted to. That's coming out of port nine running into here into port number nine in this connect, this case, but it could go into port number one, you know, port number, you know, eight, could go anywhere you want on this thing. And then from here, we're running out into our wired devices. So TV, printer, and then a laptop or a desktop. And that's just a nice clean way to do it. And that allocates this space for future PoE devices, such as cameras, doorbells, and so on. Again, you could wire these if you had a smaller system directly into this and still have a couple spare ports. So that kind of covers this right-hand side of the diagram. And then when it comes into the PoE 6s, we're running into port two, four, and six. Again, these can go anywhere we want, you know, one, so on, just for the diagram's purpose, nice and simple. We've ran them two, four, and six. And again, these run out via Cat 6 or a Cat 5e. Cat 5e will still work sufficient in most all of these systems until you get into some of the 10 gig stuff. Um, and then we've wired in our PoE 6s. And so at that point, you're gonna wire one of these in adopt it into the Eero software, work on number two, adopt it. And then when you're all said and done, do a full firmware update and you have a complete wired Eero system. So that's really the gist of this diagram. There's nothing more to it. Uh, stay tuned for example number two and example number three. Example number two will work with a PoE switch and a Pro 6 and kind of a hybrid wired system. And again, example number three is gonna be a full wireless system. So using Pro, uh, Pro 6 Eero devices. All right, hopefully this helped you out. If you need this diagram, I'm gonna end up building a link and sharing this on our website so you can uh, download this as a, uh, a JPEG or a PDF file. All right, thanks a lot.